I may live with my boyfriend, but I come from a Christian family. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Danger Debs. Happy Pride Month! I am ready for all the Pride Festivals coming to Scotland. On the 22nd of June, it will be in Edinburgh. On the 21st of July, it will be in Inverness. And the 17th of August, it will be in Glasgow! Oh, I am going to take this poster with me. Doctor, I don't care about your gender. You've saved us. Now, this video is not just about pride. It's about my pride journey. How did I discover the LGBT community and why do I support it today? These words are not from Doctor Who. They are not a Doctor Who quote. They just sum out how I see the world today. Because it's not what's on the outside that counts. It's what's on the inside. Just to let you guys know, I am kind of reading from my laptop because this is a hard story to tell from any other story in my life to tell. I come from a Christian family and I support LGBT. Yeah, this is going to be a hard story to tell. I grew up in a Christian family in Inverness. Inverness is a small town with a lot of churches. I went to church every Sunday with my family. I enjoyed dancing, singing in a safe place where I worship God. At the age of 17 in school, one of my friends came to me and said, Debs, I'm gay. What does that mean? And then my next friend said to me, Debs, that means he likes boys. What? You discover something new every day. When I got told that, I wasn't mad at all. I was just like, what? I didn't know that was a thing. Girls can like girls and boys can like boys. I didn't know that was a thing. I was like, what? Each day went by in school and people would said to me, like random questions like, Debs, would you still go to a lesbian wedding even though you're Christian? No matter what, I will support my friends. I just want them to be happy and try and still be their friend after school. And I can't wait to see some of my friends at the Pride in this parade. I knew nothing about LGBT. My parents didn't tell me anything about it. School lessons didn't tell me anything about it. My friends did, and I'm happy I did. After school life, I went to college in Inverness. Inverness didn't celebrate any pride at all. It was so quiet. There was no LGBT youth community. I didn't know what to research online to know about this community. I was just happy discovering it each day with someone who would come up to me and tell me about LGBT. Like, they tell me they were gay, they tell me they're a transgender friend, they told me their religion, they told me like what do they believe in. I didn't mind it. I just love discovering new people. Like what their passion is, what they love, what's their dream job, and what do they see life as. Life is not normal. I'm so proud life is not normal. Yes! <laughs> like what is normal guys, come on. Once I moved to Glasgow to study radio, I met a diversity of people. Gay, Polish, bisexual, straight, no matter what their worship point of view background was, I listened to them. I was just happy to be in Glasgow to just study radio, podcast, documentary, YouTube, video editing, stage management, acting, performance, so much more, and camera operating, video editing, oh my gosh, there's so much to the list in creative industries. I was just happy they are discovering the creative industries. A few of my colleagues at college wanted to present an LGBT radio show. I did it twice. I was happy to do a presenter and a producer, and then I found out about the LGBT alphabet. I was so happy. I found out where I am. I am the A. I am an ally. I am a person who supports LGBT no matter what because I am an ally. No matter what your skin is, no matter what your religion is, your background, your gender, I don't care. I will support you no matter what. After all my college courses, I decided to not go to church anymore. I just hated travelling each day on a Sunday to church by myself. I had nobody. I felt so alone. I would always get dragged to church. This time I had to drag myself to church. And I didn't like that. I didn't know who I could talk to. I didn't know what to do. And I just stopped. I went to three churches and I couldn't find a church for myself. I couldn't call it home. But I still like sing Christian songs today in my house, dancing about. Then, two Sundays after, I decided to go to MCM Scotland for the Disney meetup and 
this community was amazing. There were so many characters dressed up in different costumes from different shows that I love. There was a guy in an Elsa costume and I didn't care. I was Anna. I was just glad to meet a sister of mine. <laughs> then I met somebody who was dressed up in a Belle costume. They were leading the Disney meetup. There was 40 of us and I didn't care. I was just happy to be there. I'm so proud of the cosplay community. I started a podcast and just met so many cosplayers. We connected, we made communication, we started making YouTube videos together, and just, just shout out to everybody in the cosplay community I know. M, Faith, Katie, Jenny, Henry, Scott, Jack, Hello Hazel, Cameron. There's so many people I know. Ghostbusters. Oh, I love people in the cosplay community. It just gets me so hyped out. I love seeing you guys every day. You make me think just cause positive when I should be thinking cause positive right now. <laughs> it, this is a hard story to tell, guys, okay? Even the times when I've hurt people's feelings, I didn't know you have to call people by he, she, or they. I'm still trying to respect people and say the right thing. If I say the wrong thing, please stop me and tell me to say the right thing because I want to respect you as a person, as a human being. Really, I don't care about your gender. You've saved us. You've changed so many people's lives. Like, just showing us the world's not normal. You could be like this. It's not what on the outside accounts, it's what on the inside accounts. At the moment, I know I've hurt people and I hope our friendship goes north and not south anymore. That dog may be barking outside, but I'm still talking about LGBT and I don't give a care what people think right now. There's no one here to judge me. Well, you, you guys can judge me below and whenever you see me, but really don't start an argument with me because I don't want to cry, end up in tears. Shut up! I just want to be happy in life. Stay cause positive. I am being cause positive right now with my project called The Land of Cosplayers. The Land of Cosplayers is where I explore cosplay through art. Like this! Like radio, podcast, documentary, filming, photography, my 360 degrees camera which I want to show you guys. I just love cosplay and I'm so glad they have helped me to respect the LGBT community, enjoy life and just have fun. We are just coming to the end of the video guys. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. I'm about to show this video to my parents, and I haven't told them anything. That's scary. And they're Christian. Very scary. You can also comment below, guys. You can say positive things, your price story. Just don't start an argument, because that's just wasteful and nice sometimes. I'm here to stay positive. Like Simon Cowell says, if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I like using that quote a lot. Even this quote right here. Doctor, I don't care about your gender. You've saved us. And the quote I always say on my YouTube channel, guys, is memories to make us. So go out there and make some good memories and not some bad memories.